In this video I will dismantle an European pallet cutting the nails with a reciprocating saw. I have a screw in this wooden block just to hang it on the pallet boards. I need it to help me to clamp the pallet to the leg in my homemade work table. When cutting a pallet it makes quite nasty dust. So it is very advisable to use a safety mask. With a metal cutting blade and with the saw shoe against the pallet we can see that the blade barely reaches some of the nails, but those nails can be cut using the saw from another side of the board. We can think that if we remove the shoe, the blade will reach even farther away, but like that the blade clamp will continuously hit and rebound the pallet wood, so we must always keep the shoe in place. I put the blade right between the boards and I begin to cut pushing the saw against the pallet, because I want the shoe to be always against the wood. If I don't push hard, sometimes the saw rebounds. It also rebounds when the tip of the blade hits a nail that it is too far to cut it, so it can be better to regulate the shoe to make sure the blade doesn't reach the nails that are too far. And then we can cut those nails from the other side. It is an easy way to dismantle the pallet boards, but I need to make some effort when the boards hook the saw blade and the reciprocating saw rebounds. And we must keep in mind that when we cut the last nail in the board, suddenly nothing offers resistance against the saw. If we don't stop pushing, we can go headlong into the pallet.
It can be easier if I clamp some pieces to my work table. I have the work table against the wall because I don't want it to move when I push the saw hard against the pallet wood. You can watch how I made this work table in my YouTube channel in Spanish. Soon I will translate the videos to English. And now I only have to find all the nails and get rid of them. It is better to use a nail set, but we can use another nail to hit and remove them. Most of the pallet nails are very easy to remove, but I needed to hit hard some of them. Furthermore, it can be difficult to find all the pallet nails. To make sure we find all the pallet nails, it is better to use one of these metal detectors. Like that, we can be sure we will not damage our woodworking tools when we work with pallet boards. Once cut, we can see some nails don't have the nail head, but they are also easy to remove. I just have to pull them using pliers. And after I removed all the nails, I can get 10 pallet boards. Euro pallets are made out of 11 boards, but I had to cut one of them so the saw blade could reach some of the nails. In this Euro pallet there was one rotten board and another board was broken, so I could only get 8 boards. Thanks for watching. You can find all my woodworking videos in my YouTube channel. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.